Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm here to teach you how to handle encounters on the trail. So we want to make sure we can move his feet in all four directions. So we're going to move his shoulders to his left. Good boy. And we're going to move his hind end to his left. Good boy. That front end and back end. And that he's going to give to my hand and my leg. If I can move all four of his feet in all four directions, then regardless of what happens out on the trail, I know that I can get his attention and put him where I need to put him. Feeling confident is really important. If you're scared, your horse is going to be scared. Confidence is going to make you a good leader so your horse can follow you. He won't be testing your leadership. Your attitude is going to have a lot to do with the outcome of your trail ride. If you can be excited and enthusiastic about the things you might find out there, it's going to make a huge difference. If you're dreading it and you're afraid, that's what you're going to find, are dreadful, frightening things. I have Monkey here in a halter because it's part of our training program. Whatever you've been using with success in the arena is the equipment you should take out on the trail. It's always good to wear a safety helmet. Everyone should always wear a safety helmet when riding. As you begin to approach something that is potentially scary, you want to make sure that you have your horse's attention. Just keep asking for little movements with your hands and your legs to make sure that you have him engaged. I want my horse to face whatever it is that he might be afraid of. He can move laterally, but I'm not gonna let him turn around and run away from it. And I don't want him to back up. So I'm gonna put pressure on him if he tries to go backwards or away. I just wanna keep him focused on whatever it is that he's worried about. If he doesn't wanna go closer to it, that's all right. But he's obviously a little alarmed, but he's also curious about these cows. I just don't want him to spin. He's starting to be a little bit evasive, but as long as he keeps his head on the cow and he moves off my leg, I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> he's turning into a cow pony. <laughs> it's good that he's curious instead of afraid. That's what we wanna reward. You wanna give your horse the benefit of the doubt. He's trying, he wants to be out here with you. Right now, I'm just making sure that he doesn't leave. He can't turn away and bolt. He has to look at it. I'm not gonna try and confine him because that's just gonna make him more scared. If he wants to stop, I'll let him. If he wants to stop and think about it. But here, I just want him to keep going in the direction that I asked him to go. So you wanna make sure that you're relaxed, even if your horse isn't. You wanna remember to breathe. You don't need to reward him for horrible behavior, but if he's standing still and thinking about what's going on, you can, you can reassure him. If your horse is real antsy and, and isn't doing what you want, just be patient. Hopefully between the two of you, one of you has a bigger brain. <laughs> one of you can be the stronger one. You want to be the leader.